Hello, in this session we are going to show the debugging capabilities of the Merlin IDE. To start, you're going to go in the IBMI Project Explorer and underneath your project you're going to find your program object. So I'm creating a new query, a library query, to find the program object. So with the library query defined, I expand the library and I can find the program object. On the program object, there's going to be two inline actions. That's debug as batch and debug as batch prompt. These are also available from the menu. So with these, they invoke submit job, and with prompt, you can customize the submit job parameters. Once you launch it, you're going to be in the debug view, and the editor will have opened up with the source for the program object, and it will show the current line of execution. There are debug actions on the top left for continuing, step over, step into, step out, restart, and stop. And then there are a variety of little views on the side for threads, call stack, variables, etc. We are going to first start by adding a breakpoint on line 20. So you can just actually click in that left area of the editor and it will add it to the breakpoints view. And we're going to add one also on line 29 by doing a right click and there's a pop-up menu where you can say add breakpoint. So now we now have two breakpoints on lines 20 and 29. With that, we are going to do a step over, and this will get us to the first executable line, and then we will do a couple of step overs, and then we're going to check out the variables view. Under locals, we can see the different variables and their values. We can expand the array, and we can see that the first two entries of the array are defined. And also, if you're in the editor, you can hover over top of a variable and see its values. So we'll do another step over, check the hover, and see that the third entry of the array is now defined. And if we hover over counter, we can see its current value is zero. So if we do a few step overs, we're going to get into this loop. We will go through the loop uh, just by using step over a couple of times. You can see that everything is getting updated. And then if we hover over counter now, we can see it's two. Uh, we're going to do a continue. Uh, we won't hit the breakpoint on line 20 because it doesn't get executed. And then on line 29, it stops, and we're going to do a step into on the procedure call. This, goes, this will get us into the procedure, and we can do some step overs through that source. And then we can do a step out to get back to the main and then we can do a continue to just uh, finish the debug execution. Thank you very much, and please check out our additional resources.